After the break, Saturday's Nighttime gets underway with a film about the legendary publishing mogul William Hurst, The Hurst and Davis Affair. Sunday at 7.15 on ITV, comedy in a kind of living. Linda's got to stop in bed for 24 hours. You're all he's got, pal. <laughs> and at 7.45, another victim, another murder mystery. John Thor is Inspector Morse, stalking a killer. Then at five past ten... I'm so glad we found other people. I think she fancies me. Comedy, not with a bang, Sunday. What do you call someone who says no to pollution, third world poverty and animal testing? These days, you call him a shrewd investor. Ask your breadhead about stewardship ethical investments or call Friends Provident free on 0800 300 399. Begin surveillance. Closer. Number 21 shows ambitious tendencies. Follow him. 21 looks different. What's going on? Why can't they catch him? Twenty-one's escaped! Escape to the totally new Renault 21. No. Yeah. Semi-happy. I've never been happier. Semi-crazy. Semi-beat. Semi-tough as Chris Christopherson, Jill Claborer, and Mr. Burt Reynolds star in a moving tale of friendship, love, and self-awareness. Semi-tough, Sunday night at 10 on Channel 4. Welcome to Nighttime. Before our film tonight, a look at the headlines from ITN. After an afternoon and evening of rioting in central London, calm has been restored in the capital, but at least 58 policemen and women were hurt and scores of anti-poll tax demonstrators were injured. There were more than 300 arrests. Rioters have clashed with the police throughout the night. Windows have been smashed and shops looted. Police in full riot gear were used in Whitehall and Downing Street. The trouble happened after a big anti-poll tax demonstration. The rioting began when police tried to clear Whitehall after demonstrators refused to move from the entrance to Downing Street. The fighting rapidly escalated. <laughs> Missiles rained down on the police who seemed unprepared for the ferocity of the violence they faced. Officers made repeated charges as their lines came under attack. The police accept the majority of the tens of thousands of demonstrators were peaceful. The violence was caused by around 3,000 among them. Dozens of demonstrators were injured during the fierce hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Some of the injuries are very serious. Mrs Thatcher has been kept up to date with what's happened. Her description of the violence as deplorable has been echoed by politicians of all parties. Well, I think it's been a most disgraceful affair. I'm absolutely horrified. And I think it's shocking that the police should have to put up with this sort of hooligan behavior. I condemn the violence absolutely. It's literally intolerable in a democratic society. I hope there have been substantial numbers of arrests. I hope the people who have been responsible for the violence will be convicted. And I hope they'll be awarded very severe sentences, exemplary sentences. Mrs Thatcher told the Conservative conference in Cheltenham that there is no vacancy at Downing Street. She was fighting on for Conservative policies. I have the stomach for that fight. So do you. And so, I believe, does Britain. That's all from ITN for the moment. We're back later in the night with more news. Turn on. Tune in.
This is night time.